morning and welcome to a new week it's another week and it's in February I don't know why that should be being celebrated but you know anyway I've just been to Matalan and next because I had to take a couple of things back and I swapped them for some other things so I just thought I'd show you what I bought so I needed some new sunglasses because my ones were so scratched that there was no point to them. Every time you look through them, you thought, these look, these are like they're filthy, but they weren't, they were just scratched because I didn't look after them. Hence, I bought a case. I've bought a proper case, if I can get the sticker off. This was three pounds from Next, but the sticker doesn't come off. Just thought I'd, you know, mention that one. Isn't it satisfying when you can take something off in one fail swoop? Well, I think it is. But you can't with this, look. So I'll have to do that in a minute. But anyway, yeah, I bought a nice little case. And these are my new sunglasses. They're really good, actually. And they fit nicely. And I think they look nice. They were £12 for those. So there we go. I'm going to pop them in my new case. Um, I also bought this, which you probably can't tell, but it's like a khaki colour. And I like it because it's baggy, but you can wear like a long sleeve tight top underneath. And that was £20. So I thought that was quite nice. It might not be when I try it on, but you know, oh, and I was desperate for some more jeggings. I don't wear jeans because. I have severe IBS that I've had since I was a little girl, um, so my stomach can go from any. It's never flat now after having two C-sections, you know, oozes unless you eat a lettuce leaf a day. So it can go from like normal to looking like I'm eight months pregnant if my IBS flares up. So I can't wear jeans because obviously they become too uncomfortable. So I wear jeggings now, and my other jeggings got whole holes in round the crutch area and the legs so they were tell you a minute I think they were 22 pounds yes 22 pounds so I bought those and then from Matalan my receipt because I'm doing my workouts this morning I realized I got rid of all my workout clothes because I thought never gonna need that again was I wrong so I needed a sports bra so I just bought this one but I couldn't find any extra large so I just got large and hope it will fit okay and that was seven pounds which is not too bad and then this isn't a baggy workout top but I thought I don't really want to go too baggy because I'm working out you know I want everything to be able so I can move this was six pounds and again I couldn't get an extra large so I've got a large and just hope that it'll fit if not I'll have to go back again to all these places ah and I love long vest tops you probably can tell I wear them virtually every day so I got another black one that's four pounds the only thing is I couldn't get another navy one because I, I wear black and navy all the time. But I did get some um, stretch full length leggings in navy for £6. Because I got some on today, got in the car and saw holes appearing and I thought... Oh. So that was my my next and uh, my Matalan haul if you like. It wasn't loads but it was enough for me. I'm taking the girls shopping to Chelmsford in... Um, their half term week which is next week because Holly's got a lot of birthday money and to spend I dare say a lot of it will be on makeup because some of it will be on clothes so I can go through that with the girls with you which would be nice I'm a bit worn out, I've done a workout already I did 20 minutes of the cardio from Coco Lime Fitness this morning and there was more but she said if you're fatigued now, stop and do the other bit tomorrow so that's what I'm doing 
So I thought I'll do the other bit of that tomorrow and then I'm, if i am got the energy I'll do the stretching and toning one after but oh, I'm so tired. I haven't had lunch yet and it's quarter to two. Morning everybody. It's Wednesday. I don't think I vlogged yesterday. It wasn't much to vlog really. I did another... I'm just trying... Ah, oh, that's my hand. Another Coco Lime workout. Well, I actually did two halves last night, yesterday morning, of um, two different ones. So I started off with the other half of the cardio that I missed the day before because I'd had enough. And then I did half of a toning one, which was very good. But I was shattered after that. It's the only thing, I, whatever I do, I get exhausted at. And it's supposed, exercise is supposed to give you energy, but it really didn't with me yesterday. And then I went to the cinema last night with my friend Donna, and we saw the film Winchester. See it, it's brilliant. It really is. It's If you don't like scary films, then don't watch it. But it's I don't do like blood and gore and all that. I, I can't be doing with that. So I don't like any like zombie films or anything like that. But I love, as I've said before, the supernatural. And this is all to do with ghosts and spirits. And it's really, really well done. And it's a true story. So that's even spookier. But yes, go see it. Teach. You'd love it. Go see it. Went to see that. And then this morning I took Evie to the vet because she's been having problems with her left back leg for a little while. And she's torn her cruise ship ligament in her knee. So she needs an operation. But this morning they've taken her in to take x-rays to see what the extent of the damage is. Um, obviously it's going to cost a lot of money. We are insured, so I'm hoping that we just have to pay the excess. Um, hello? Good grief. Hello. Oh, I'll sit on the floor, Eve. No, leave that. It's um, Thursday today. So far I've been to Audi's. And I had a blood test this morning as well. Oh, you hang on, Eve, you've got something on your nose. Come here, what's that? A feather, that's it. It turns out she's got, um, oh, what is it called? Cruise ship ligament disease. Um, so she's, basically she's got nothing supporting her back knee and it goes all over the place, which is why it's causing her pain. So until she has her operation, she's only allowed to go a little way. But we've come out today, haven't we? She's desperate to get out. Aren't you? Kept looking at me. We discovered we're not insured for it. So it's going to cost thousands, we reckon. I'm waiting to hear the price of it. But we think it's gonna it's gonna cost a lot of money. It's already cost us three hundred and ninety eight pounds for yesterday where she had to be uh have a general anaesthetic and x rays and stuff. So that was yeah, three hundred and ninety eight pounds. Eve, you're gonna get tangled up, look. Come on. Where's he got that from? Birdie has just got a uh, massive piece of something. I don't know. Right, let's turn that down. It's Friday. Just reading a text from Mark. No problem. I just booked his car experience day. He um, got for his birthday another bird. What are they all doing in my garden? It's obviously the place to be on a Friday afternoon for a bird or several birds. Um, yeah, Mark got from Holly for his birthday last year a drive racing car driving experience day 
and um, I just booked that because we were worried it was going to run out of date, you know. Because the vouchers are quite expensive, they're not cheap. I don't know if anyone's done it before, I'm sure people have. And um, they wanted another £25 on top of that because we wanted to do it the weekend and not the week. And they said, oh, you've got a weekday voucher, you have to pay another £25. Just like that. I just smashed that. That was a, just a match that I was using to light my candles. Got a bit of a nice thingy going on here. We've got like some candles alight. Um, just really, I, I just like it when, um, when it's a bit miserable outside, which it is at the moment. And it's supposed to be miserable. It's half term next week, isn't it? So, oh my goodness. I'll have plenty to film next week with the girls about. Good morning, it is Sunday. We're off to Mill Race to buy some more fish for Holly's tank. Um, as the last lot died quite quickly, we're going to get the same type this time. What are they called? Who? Guppies. That's right, not Tetras. She got Tetras last time and they're the ones that died really quickly. So we're going to get Guppies and we need some more shrimp as well. But apparently the shrimp needs somewhere to hide so we've got to get like more weed. And ah! God, don't do that! So yeah, we're going to get some shrimp and we've got to get hidey places for them. And we'll see some more fishies! We've lost Daddy, hang on. There he is. There he is. He's behind me. Poppies, 149. Ah, oh, here's all the hidey things, Holly. But you don't want it too small that the shrimp can't... About something like that, or the fish would go in there. Polly. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That'd that's be quite good for him, wouldn't it? That would sit on the stones and then yeah. in there. That's what I'm saying. Should do at the Fish back. Fish, or you could put it at the front. Like, you like you move, move some, some plants. Yeah. A lot of these old ones are too big, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. That's probably the idea, isn't Yeah, it? I think so. Birds. <laughs> she loves frogs. Guppies around there, the male guppies. How many you got to get? Three and two shrimp and some plant. Right. That's where. Oh my goodness! The big. That's scary. What is That's it? Axolotl. That's horrible. Yeah, stupid science question about how it's breathing. Oh yeah, that's the one that everyone strange. didn't understand. Still don't. Axolotl. It's horrible. That one is what Auntie Karen had. Yeah, but it's a bit long. 
Oh, oh sorry, it's not over there. Um, they haven't got any of the normal one. <laughs> yeah, bobble eyes. Oh, they've moved them, they're not here, are they? Look at that one with the big cheeks. You see it? What is wrong with that? No, it's, they're all like that, look. No. It's a type bubble bubble eyes, they're called. Weird. Bubble eyed fish. They're quite pretty, aren't they? 325, yeah. They're a nice Oh, and there's more up here, look. They're the leopard print ones you've already got. They're small, aren't they? They're baby ones. These ones are a bit more established. These quite cool as well, don't they? Bit that caving yet? Mm. <laughs> what are they? Catfish? Catfish. Is there any other fish for you today? Um, the, well, we, yeah, but. We'll see what they're like. We couldn't actually see any. There's uh, a few sort of assortments in here. There's a couple of blue ones left in there. Uh, a couple of yellows, a couple of oranges there. No way, you. But yeah, I should have some more coming in next Thursday. Show I should have the black carbon rillies, which are quite nice. They're sort of black and blue. Um, some yellow cherry shrimp, the normal notorious red oh, cherry cool. shrimp. We'll come back this Friday and it's fine. Is that plot you find one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, one of the plants. Right, we've got to find some dog poo bags and some guinea hay. In here somewhere. Coming through the jig. Oh, you better go. There you go. That's it. Dog food bags. <laughs> Can't say I've got a bleed out there. Here I'm up. That's it. Got your fishies, but no shrimp till next week. It's better to wait because you can get more selection next week, won't you? That's right. I like these. We put a little candle in. Cakes. Get a cake to take back if you want. They do take away. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Um, gluten free choice. Oh, is that carrot cake gluten free? Yes, yeah. please. <laughs> Right, what am I doing? Shaking up the potatoes. 
<sighs> just um, cooking a roast, as you do. And your glasses do that when you come out of the uh, oven, so you can't see what you're doing. They're crisping up nicely. Oh, lovely. It's absolutely pouring down outside. Look. Yum. We've got roast chicken. Which is nice. On a day like this, we do like a roast on a Sunday. Let's put that there. Might turn them on actually. What time is it? Yeah. Turn the veg. Oh, wrong one. Turn the veggies on. Oh, wrong one again. Do so what I'm doing. I think I'll get myself a little drink. Look at it. Look how miserable it is. Look. Absolutely pouring all of a sudden. But it's been quite nice today. I have actually got out and done some gardening, which is nice. So anyway, this is the end of this week. Like I say, next week, the girls are off, so we've got loads on. So lots to tune into next week, okay? But don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like it. And subscribe if you haven't already done so. Oh my goodness, that weather. It's like the heavens have opened. And I'll see you next week.